welcome to Pyramid Fitness. We're here at Studio Mix in San Francisco. I am buffing myself out with these three pound weights, getting really slow. Now we're in the uh, yoga studio. What I want to do is I want to give you a workout. You can do it at home because I know many of you work out at home. In fact, I have one client right now, she knows who she is, who uh, I told her how to do a workout for her. And anyone else, you can join, okay? So all you need is some dumbbells. I'm, I grabbed three pound, clearly you're gonna have head here, but this is clearly for demonstration. I'm gonna show you a workout. Follow along at home, and then I want, what I want you to do is repeat the sequence I show you for 30 minutes, okay? So let's start with the exercise. The first thing's gonna be this. I've thrown a mat out, but you could do this on the carpet, anywhere else is fine. What you're gonna do is kind of get the sumo squat position, right? And we're gonna turn to the side and lunge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be rotating side to side, alternating the lunge position, and we're gonna be crunching our elbows here at knee. And you're gonna be as fluid as possible. You're gonna open up, rotate through your feet, bring the right knee, the right elbow to the left knee, okay? And we're gonna go back and forth, rotating through your feet, making your feet face this way. Rotating, your feet face that way. Good, we're going back and forth with the lunge. You'll notice that back knee can touch. It can touch. If you want to be harder, you pull the knee off the ground, okay? Keep the knee off the ground, be harder. We're doing lots of reps here. So 30 reps in total, 15 on each side. I haven't been counting, it's totally fine, but I just want to show it to you. So you get the idea of how you're moving through this. Your hips, everything's pivoting. You're opening, your feet are turning, and you're closing through. We're working our glutes. Getting those hips nice and warm. Your thighs will start burning a little bit. That's totally fine. If you want to take the elbow out, you can also take the elbow out and cross the body, okay? So we're doing 30 reps. You're gonna get really warm. If you can't do 30, do 20 reps, okay? Then we're going to the ground. I pulled out two blocks, two yoga blocks. I'm gonna pull up the side. What we're gonna do is if you don't have these yoga blocks at home, grab some books, stack them up, you can do the exact same exercise. We're getting in a plank position. We're going to start with pulling our knees across our body. So right knee, left elbow. Go as close as you can to it. You can also go lower, it's totally fine. We go back and forth, touching. If you can't touch, maybe you're a little tight, you'll be able to touch at the end because you'll be nice and warm. We're working our stomach, our core, our oblique. This is not meant to be fast. You want to be folding from your stomach and really pulling from your belly. If you do it slower, allow that weight to sink into the opposite leg, and then really pull, not from the thigh, but from the stomach, you really feel yourself working here. So we're doing 20 reps, side to side. Come off, shake your arms for a second. Woo, get warm. Now what we're gonna do is walk down. So your hands are gonna be on the books, whatever you have. You're walking down to the ground and back up. What's important to remember is when we're walking down and walking up, you don't wanna do the same side coming up every time, so you've got to alternate. So I'll show you So We're in the block position, I'll show you from the side, so you see what I'm doing? We're in our plank, make sure that these are a little wider apart, so you've got room to come in the middle. We're here, we're gonna walk down, we're gonna count. One, the side that came down is the side that goes up. Good, then I'm gonna alternate. Two, good, this side comes up, this came down. Three, good, you can add a little bit more speed. Four, the side that comes down is the side that comes up. Five. Good. Six. Don't let your hips sink. Don't get weak here. Keep your belly up. We're going to keep going. We're going to hit 20 reps. Okay, so 20 reps there. After the knees, we're going to give your shoulders a break now. We're going to stand. Whew. Good. What you're going to do is I want you to get a staggered stance, which means one leg is going to be slightly in front of the other. So first, stand tall. So we're standing. We're good. If someone were to push you, what leg would go forward? Oh, my left one, so let's start with that leg. What I want you to focus on is we're going to be bringing the back heel off the ground, just like this. And you're going to be setting back, kind of like you're sitting in a chair. Setting back and driving up. Setting back and driving up. Put most of the energy on this leg, okay? Everything's about 20 reps. So 20 reps, weight's in the heel, and you're driving up from the butt. So this leg's really working. We get our 20 reps. Make sure that when you go down, you don't move from the knee. This is moving from the knee. No going out. Move from the hip. Boom. It comes back. If you're flexible, you can go deeper because you've got the range. You don't have to. You can go a shorter range. Notice the hip. Or you can go for a bigger range. All right, 20 reps for the switch. Small step. Heel comes off. We're setting back and coming up. Okay? So you play that range. 20 on each. 
This is the next exercise for your stomach. We're going to be sitting back, just like you did with the TRX. You can be on your forearms, your hands, I prefer your hands, lean back. We're going over the beach ball, thighs are together. You're reaching up, you're working the stomach and the obliques, keeping the number 20 today. Everything that we do, 20 reps, side to side, lean back, play around. Okay? If you can't do straight legs, if you're gripping your thighs too much, you can bend a little bit and do whatever you can, okay? That's all I'm asking. But you're trying to grow out of it side to side, 20 reps. Shake it out a little bit. Now we're going to move to a balancing position on your butt. Before you do this though, I want you to curl down slowly into the floor. Curl back up. You're in a balanced spot. Take your feet off. We're going side to side with our hands and just touching the ground. By now your stomach is really mad at you, but you're happy about that today. Okay, 20 reps. Side to side, just touching. Growing. You're going to feel these guys here firing quite a bit. Keep leaning back. If you get tired, like I just did, Lie back for a second, breathe, Whew. roll back up, balance, and then go back to it. With anything that you're doing today, if you get tired at all, take a break, and then go right back to it. We're gonna stand, we're gonna do one more exercise. Whew. I had the dumbbells, rather two more exercises, because I wanna show you some stuff that I want you to do. Today's gonna be lateral raises, so you're gonna stand tall, bend your knees a little bit, fall forward. We're gonna be lifting up just shoulder height, and coming back down in front of our body. So we're working our shoulders here. Just lifting up, does that mean very heavy? We're doing reps, 20 reps, just like we've been doing. Get this crazy hair out of our face. 20 reps, you get your 20 reps in. Woo. We're going into curls. We're doing one arm at a time, alternating. 20, which means 10 on each side. Good, boom, boom, boom. Let's give you another exercise while we're at it. We got the shoulders nice and warm, biceps warm. We're gonna bring these guys up. Hands like this, this is a sagittal press overhead. You're gonna press straight overhead and back down for 20 reps. If you, again, if you're tired, put the dumbbells down, breathe for a few. If you get halfway through and you get to 10 reps and you're struggling, breathe, hang out, and come back and start where you left off. So it's 11, 12, and finish. It doesn't matter if you can do the 20 continuously. You can't, just count up until you get there and continue through. All right, Enrique did a great job with the camera today. The Studio Mix, this is Pyramid Fitness. Try this workout out. Work out at home for yourself. Let me know what you think. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you.